Welcome. Nice to see you. This is the EasyZoom for DaVinci Resolve, and it lets you apply zooms to your footage without the need for keyframes. Now, this zoom tool is made specifically for adjustment clips. So if you prefer to be hands-on with the clips rather than being in the inspector fiddling with controls, and you like to visually set the length of your zoom with an adjustment clip, then this zoom is for you. On the surface, it's a pretty straightforward, lightweight little plugin with great playback, but it has a couple cool little features that I'm really excited to show you as well. This video is gonna be a walkthrough on how to use this plugin, so let's jump in. All right, so once you download the plugin, you should be able to click on your effects panel here and you should see Easy Zoom under Mr. Justin Edits. So we can actually drag Easy Zoom right onto a clip to get the zoom effect, and all of our controls will be over here in the inspector under effects. But I want to show you how to use this with adjustment clips because adding Easy Zoom to an adjustment clip will affect all of the clips below it, giving you a lot more control. It's also easy to change the length of your zoom and then even duplicate your adjustment clips, making this workflow incredibly fast. And this is why it's my go-to workflow and why I wanna show it to you today. Now, using an Anim Curve-driven zoom plugin with adjustment clips is not without its quirks. And this part's really important, so that's why I'm putting it at the beginning of the video. There are two rules for working with adjustment clips, and if you follow these two rules, you can basically avoid any issues. Rule number one is never adjust the start position of a clip with easy zoom, so you can can move this adjustment clip around and you can adjust the length of it by grabbing the end of the clip but you just never want to adjust the start point of this clip okay rule number two if you're working with more than one adjustment clip never drag a clip on top of another in a destructive way where you would be changing the length of that other clip that can cause issues and if you follow those two rules you really shouldn't run into any issues however if you do there is a simple fix so let's say that this clip was giving us some sort of issue with the zoom all you have to do is is bring your playhead to the end of that clip, extend it out, and then trim it back. And that will resolve any issues with the zoom. Okay, let's walk through this plugin. So the way that Easy Zoom works is the zoom starts at the beginning of the clip at zero, and by the end of the clip, it is zoomed into this amount here, whatever you set this zoom amount to. So let's walk through the settings. The first thing that we wanna do is set our eye line. So the best way to do that is to click here to turn on the fusion overlay. Now this little green X is gonna pop up and we can reposition this on our eye line. Now the focal point of the zoom is gonna be on our eye line, so that's perfect. Next, we have a curve option, so we have easing or linear. Easing basically means the zoom eases out and eases back in, making it look really smooth. And then linear is gonna be a constant velocity. Mirror is gonna mirror the zoom, so it's gonna reach full zoom by halfway and then mirror that back out. Invert is gonna start in the zoomed in state and then zoom out. Okay, and the option for zoom or hold, if zoom is selected, it's just gonna zoom normally. If we choose hold, it's gonna hold on the initial state. So right now it's gonna hold on the zoomed out state. If we click on invert, it will hold on the zoomed state. This is the zoom amount, so zero to 100% zoomed in. If you need to go higher than 100%, you can just double click and type in another value here. This button enables zoom blur, and this is set up to look similar to a 180 degree shutter motion blur that you would see in a real camera but it's using DaVinci Resolve's Zoom Blur instead. And so that's how it's able to play back nice and fast rather than calculating real motion blur. This button enables focus blur. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is that subtle blur effect that you can get when you refocus a lens during a zoom. And I'll show you an example of this in a moment. All right, let's add easy zoom to this footage so I can show you this plugin in action and see how it can speed up your workflow. Let's add an adjustment clip here and we'll drag on easy zoom. And the first thing that I wanna do is set the eye line. So we make sure that our fusion overlay is selected and then we can just grab this little X and set our eye line and that looks good. All right, let's set the length of this zoom in. Editor should talk. I feel like that feels pretty good. Okay, editor should, now that we've zoomed in, we wanna hold this zoom. So what we can do is click and holding down alt, we can click and drag to duplicate this adjustment clip. Now let's change the color of this clip so we can keep track of our zooms. Okay, to make this one hold our zoom, we can click here on hold and, and then remember to invert this to hold the zoomed state. All right, so this is looking nice and seamless and it's keeping our eyeline consistent, so that's perfect. Let's extend this out to the end of this clip. Editors should talk about this a lot more. Your audio mix will make or break your video. Okay, right where I say make or break, let's add some push-ins to those. Again, holding down Alt, let's duplicate this adjustment clip. Make or break.
And then where I say Take break, break, let's add another push in. Mix will make or break your video. So remember these three tips in DaVinci. Okay, now I want to add in another zoom and hold over here so I can select this zoom and hold, holding down alt, duplicate them and bring them over. In DaVinci Resolve to pro So remember these three tips in DaVinci Resolve to And I want this zoom to be a little bit slower. And actually, I just want to point out, I'm not changing the start point of this clip. I'm dragging it over and then extending from the end. Remember these three tips in DaVinci Resolve to properly mix your dialogue music and sound effects, as well as set the... Okay, let's add a zoom out. So I'm going to duplicate this zoom in. And then by clicking invert, that's going to change it to a zoom out. To properly mix your dialogue music and sound effects, as well as tips in DaVinci Resolve to... To properly mix your dialogue music and sound effects, as well as set... And we'll just put a punch in right at the end there. Three tips in DaVinci Resolve to properly mix your dialogue music and sound... Okay, and now let's just turn on some zoom blur and focus blur. See how that looks. Editors should talk about this a lot more. Okay, that's looking good. Let's add a subtle push-in zoom over top of some of these clips. So we'll duplicate an adjustment layer. And let's make this one pink for our push-in. Let's go to the curve and set it to linear and the zoom amount will just make 10%. Let's extend this to the end of the clip. Editors should talk about this a lot more. Your audio mix will make or break your video. And let's duplicate that over, extend the end. Your audio mix will make or break your video. And let's add one more at the end. Oh, I just realized that we left these zoom blurs on. Let's turn these off. Okay, let's watch that. Editors should talk about this a lot more. Your audio mix will make or break your video. So remember these three tips in DaVinci Resolve to properly mix your dialogue music and sound effects, as well as set the correct loudness for your video. So as you can see, we're just able to add that extra little level of dynamics to this. And that's it. I really hope you enjoy this plugin. I'd love to hear your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.